Hello and welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Exposed channel. Today I'm going to talk about what's important to a narcissist, but I have to remind you that it's not you or everyone else. So, if you ask me whether a narcissist actually cares about you, the answer would be yes, but only because you belong to them and they need you to help them function. The narcissist uses other people as extensions of themselves, much like a limb. Narcissists do not engage in romantic relationships because they genuinely love and care about you. True, you're an important part of their plan, but everyone can be replaced with another as far as a narcissist is concerned. It's your function that matters, not you, not the relationship. What is important is what you can do for the narcissist and how you can make them feel elevated with your actions. If you have no use, you have no value, and the relationship has no worth. I think it's necessary to understand that so you can understand the reason behind their actions or words, especially those with measures and terms designed to trick you into trusting them. You should be wary of anything meant to mislead you into believing them, even though it may seem so enticing at times. First of all, it's important to understand that narcissists are conflicted when it comes to relationships and people since they loathe us while also being dependent on us. Please stay tuned, because I'm walking you through this topic extensively in this video. Here are the three most crucial things a narcissist is concerned about because they believe they would have nothing unless at least two of these three things are in place for them. Narcissists are characterized by self-centeredness and shallowness, so the things they want are actually superficial. The egotistical insecurities and emptiness that they embody, on the other hand, are accurately captured in their very actions and behaviours. For a narcissist, their image is the most important thing in the world. In fact, it is the possession they value the most. Their outward look, their choice of attire, and their general manner. Appearance is the first and most essential factor for narcissists, above anything else. This is quite different so sociopaths because sociopaths don't give a damn about what other people think of their looks. They might roll out of bed and head to the corner store looking messy and unkempt. This is because sociopaths don't care what other people think of their outward appearance. They only make an effort when it is convenient for them. However, narcissists, particularly when they were at the height of their productive age, were preoccupied with their appearance and the accumulation of material possessions. In the case of covert narcissists, they're quite strategic when it comes to how other people think about themselves. What they allow people to see can be very different from what they actually are. When they walked out of the door, they were under the impression that it was a performance. Everything has to be consistent with the impression that they're going for. Narcissists spend a lot of time, money and effort trying to make themselves look good and influence other people's opinions of them positively. They're just concerned with enhancing their standing and reputation. The only individuals who are able to see through the mask are the people who are closest to them, such as their spouses and children. As a result, one of the narcissist's greatest worries is that they would be found out to be a fraud or an imposter by others because they would have nothing else if they didn't have this fabricated image anymore. They're afraid that they would be seen as vicious demons if they can't maintain the false image of either the hero or the victim. They will perish if this situation continues because narcissists are always dependent on the validation of others. They can't boost their self-inflated egos and phony senses of self-worth without others' admiration. Comes to the second thing, it's narcissistic supply, which is something they normally acquire as a direct result of the false image they've created. Attention, flattery and praise are the only things that can make them happy. They need to know that they're adored by the general public and held in the highest esteem. They need the dark narcissistic nourishment that comes from betraying and hurting the ones they claim to love in order to sustain themselves. This is a necessary criterion that must be met. As a result, 
They must mislead people into having a love relationship or a close friendship with them. This issue is so crucial to the narcissist that they will go to tremendous measures to get their fix of narcissistic supply. Narcissists are unable to feel genuine care or concern for another person since they consider others as merely a means to an end. As long as they can get their narcissistic supply from us, they'll be happy. There is an air of superiority and command about them. Control is ingrained in narcissists from childhood. If they don't have anybody they can control and authenticate their presence, then life won't be worth living for them. Another reason why they need more sources of supply is because of this circumstance. It's never enough for them to have just one person to love. It's never enough to only have one person to manipulate and mistreat. Narcissists are predators that are continuously looking for their next meal. They are never satisfied. When their current supply of goods runs out, they need to have another resource to turn to. Even if they get tired of you, stop appreciating what you bring to the table and put you on the back burner, they'd still keep you while they're looking for another source. Because, in their eyes, you're their property, you're obligated to remain with them until they're ready to make use of you once more. Therefore, it can be said that narcissists require a constant supply of narcissistic supply. The acquisition of wealth and power is the third item that is important to narcissists. They are able to improve their fake image and acquire even more items to take their minds off of their terrible life and to bring themselves joy thanks to the money they have. They refuse to believe that happiness can't be purchased with money. Therefore, in order to get more, they work hard to achieve success, even if they have to use others in the process. They also came to the realization that if they had more money, they could exert power over a greater number of people. They'd be able to keep certain people in their life because of their financial status. When it comes to money, just like with all else, narcissists can never have enough and are unable to be content with what they already possess. With greater wealth comes more power and narcissists take pleasure in dictating other people's lives and inspiring tenor in others. Narcissists always believe that if they have money and power, they can practically do whatever they want. They have a superiority complex. Therefore, they sit in the first row, which contributes to their feeling that they are above the law. The narcissist's objective in life is to acquire as much power and wealth as possible so that they can exert as much control as they possibly can on their environment. Narcissists hide the fact that they're weak and insecure people who place a heavy reliance on individuals around them to either make them feel better or divert them from the chaos that exists within themselves. As long as the narcissist is able to maintain their supply of narcissistic fulfillment, they will maintain their existence. They are also able to utilize their wealth and power to strengthen their degree of control, defend their reputation, and generate new avenues of narcissistic supplies for themselves. As you know, it's clear that narcissists care about particular things, but they do not care about other people, and they're willing to make any sacrifice in order to develop or acquire the things that are most important to them. I sincerely hope that this video is of assistance to you. Please acknowledge the depth of my gratitude for your time and consideration. As always, if you have anything to say about this matter, feel free to post it in the comments section down below. Thank you.